Hey, Plant Pals, Mike the Cat of Gardener. Today is a mail call slash uh, prize win. I was, uh, I entered a giveaway from a channel that I absolutely love. It's called Arrow Garden Experiments. Uh, I, anybody who knows me knows I grow hydroponically inside most of the year because I live in Zone 4, Minnesota. And for most of the year, I cannot grow outside. <laughs> it's covered in snow and it can get up to 40 below zero at times. So, not conducive to growing outside, and uh, I have to grow inside if I want to grow stuff. And so, one of the first channels that I gravitated towards was the channel Arrow Garden Experiments, because there were tons and tons of channels that would take an Arrow Garden pod from the company, stick it into the, put it into the uh, the unit, and they would everybody would be growing the exact same plant in the exact same unit and it would all be exactly the same and i was always curious as to there has to be a way of doing more and he was one of the first channels that did more he would you know that's as the name applies he would do experiments to see what he could grow using arrow gardens and he's has since branched out which i think is awesome um he uses all several different types of unit you know models and units and he tests them and reviews them and I generally typically 100% agree with most of his uh, criticisms of them, and I usually have that same criticism myself of the certain types of units. Um, but the point was, he had a giveaway from Spider Pharma, Farmer, and um, I won. So <laughs> I'm very excited. Uh, pleased to show the unit. I'm going to unbox the unit. I don't have a place to set it up right now because... As people who watch my channel know that I'm, I'm growing outside right now because I have a very small window to do so. I do have some plants growing inside, but in the wintertime is when I really ramp it up. And I will definitely be growing <laughs> using this unit inside hydroponically over the winter. So I am going to unbox this. I will pause because I know some people like unboxings, but... <laughs> I'm going to pause it and I will show you the uh, unit as I take it out. All right. Cutting of tape has been done. <laughs> so as typical with these with hydroponic units, they packed it well. They, there's usually the manual on the top. But first I'm going to... All right, well, I will pause once again to get, the, <laughs> get this out of the box because of the, my camera's too low. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, because I couldn't, <laughs> I didn't have the space to lift it up out of the box. But this is how it comes packed. So it's got these foam protectors. And it also comes with, this is the light bar that comes with the unit. And I will, so this is a, this is a pretty fancy model. So let me pause and see it's taped very well. So I'm going to pause it, take off the tape, open it up, be right back. <laughs> All right, so I got the, the the tape off and the wrapping, auto wrapping off. So this is the model SF Spider Farmer Smart uh, G12 system. So I wasn't even quite sure which. Uh, model i won i was so happy to have won <laughs> i didn't really even question i was very very ecstatic to have won in, in like i said my <laughs> one of my favorite channels uh giveaways but yeah so this is one of the this is a uh a, a nice model it has the i believe this one might even have like wi-fi and stuff so yeah i'll have to go through the manual and see but i just wanted to while i have it unboxed talk about some of the features that it has it has a tall light bar and which for many units is a problem but i believe that this system has a bright a, a more powerful light bar i mean light yeah the light bar uh this is the pole i guess i should say the light bar that goes across the unit is bright enough to where the plants hopefully won't be leggy. We'll see. I believe he has done several tests and experiments with this system. 
or a very similar model. And I believe that he had a success with it. And so I'm going to try it for myself. And I'm very excited to do so. I will really put this thing to its paces. I'm going to grow all sorts of things with it. Peppers. Of course, you know, the herbs, tomatoes. And I, too, love to experiment and play around uh, with hydroponics and have the systems do things that they uh, typically are, well, I, would, I don't want to say not meant to do, but I find ways of getting to do more than what the uh, company even thought you could do with these systems, which is fun. And, hydro and gardening should be fun. That's the, the whole point of it. So here are some of the, so I just want to show the, uh, this is the light bar. And uh, so it doesn't have a cover here. Some of them put a plastic cover over it to make sure that there's no, you know, it's like the plant uh, leaves are growing up and touching them. You don't want them getting moisture on the LEDs. So that could be an improvement that they could make. Um, I don't, I'm not about criticizing companies. I just want to, I love hydroponics and hydroponic gardening. And I want these things to be as best as they possibly can. And, and, and. And uh, Aero Garden Experiments, you know, he's the same way. He'll say, like, you know, he doesn't like excess holes because that can lead to algae. So you'll see he'll, he'll tape them up. He talks about whether or not the uh, the uh, cups are, you know, solidly embedded in the thing so the plants don't fall over. Just things like that. And a lot of these companies listen. And then by the next, the next couple models that happen, they're improved. And that's awesome. And it makes for excellent growing. So I would also encourage them to go to the uh, the uh, telescoping light bars because they go shorter and they go taller without having to use a tall bar like this. They'll have they're about half the size and they go even longer taller than this which I'm sure they're probably looking into which would be great. So we have the, this is the power plug right there. Looks to be a standard plug, which is awesome. And we have the cups. So these look to be the I do uh, size style cups as opposed to the AeroGuard cups, which, so these are a little bit smaller and have a, a slightly smaller top to them. So these would like not work well in the Aero Garden, but Aero Gardens will work in this. So, and that's a, you know, nothing I would love, of course, for everything to be universal, but you know, these companies want to have their own. <laughs> they don't want to be uh, Aero Garden. They want to be their own company. So they have their own way of doing things. So, they're going with the AB plant food, which, again, I don't particularly use. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but I just have my own um, solution that I make to my, my specific uh, standards, and it works well for me. So, here are some other accessories. So, this is the T right here. Here's the T bar that goes into the pump, and that distributes the water multiple ways and you see some some uh, different units they'll just go one way to circulate the water and I've and I and when I review those units I have always encouraged them to have a T because it makes the water circulate fully around the deck so sometimes your plants will be either happy or upset that they're circulating on this side and nothing on this side where this has both and of course to be fair I like it when it does the waterfall from the the top deck but that's a different style of unit. And they might go into that at some point in the future. We'll see. So these are the caps that go onto the uh, the top of the deck. So I'm going to set the deck on top of the unit here just to show. So this is how it will go. The light bar would be up here. And then you have your, you have your sponges fit like that. And then the, as the plant grows, the roots go down there, and then they provide the sponges, which 
are like a compressed peat and I like this style of sponge as opposed to Air Garden's new sponges which are very uh, porous and they fall apart. <laughs> and I hope for them to go back to this style because this style holds the plants better and it doesn't fall apart and it has it's way less prone to algae than the new Air Guard ones. So I'm very pleased that they're using this style of sponge. So you would fill the unit with water, you put the uh, plant food uh, AB solution in there or plant whatever solution you want. You would drop the sponge like that. You would put a uh, seed in the, the center of the hole here and it would water would this would swell up and the water moisture would wick up and then as the seed grows and the plant the roots grow down they reach to the water and that's how they get their nutrients and then the light bar is how it gets light so just like in nature you have the sun which would be the light bar you have the the earth which is just a medium <laughs> for holding the minerals and water and nutrients this works the same way except for you don't need the soil because the cups and the sponges are what is holding the plant. So yeah, that's very cool. So I will do a uh, mini future. So this is the, the control panel here. Um, I have not used this uh, style of system before. I have a, a bounty that has a uh, control panel. This looks to be much different. So I'm going to read the manual for once <laughs> because I'm like I said, I'm so used to the other style systems that I have you know I, I can use them set them up and use them without uh, reading the manual but this is a different system so I'm going to take my time read the manual set it up and I will take you along with me on that journey and I will do my own experiments <laughs> Ella as is like my uh, my friend uh, Air Aerogram Experiments does so yeah I want to thank him once again because I'm very excited. I'm sure everybody who watched my demos can hear in my voice how uh, giddy and happy I am to have won this. And I will, like I said, I will be putting it through its paces and will show you in future videos. But I just wanted to get this, the unboxing, and uh, talk a little bit about it and my, my initial thoughts on it, what I see as I take it out of the box, the things I've I hope they improve things that I think are good. So, yeah, I'm very excited. All right. So, any comments, questions, leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. Have an awesome day.